Onion Haseo, people of Korea. My name is Janja Mikhailenko and I'm a chef and CEO at one of the Kiev's ramen shops, once famous restaurant chains that has now turned into a place that uh, cooks food for, uh, for Ukrainian military, for Ukrainian special forces and a lot of Ukrainian citizens who have been displaced by the horrors of the war with Russia. So right now I have this uh, food truck that was brought to me just today. Uh, I'm gonna show you, show, show you a bit later inside this food truck and uh, tell you about it. And this is our home base. This is where we cook food for everyone. This is my guy smoking, very healthy habits. Don't be like, like this guy, he got shot in the leg while, while cooking for, uh, for our military. And I'm gonna show you around our, um, our kitchen and show you what we have here. And if you would be kind enough to support us, all your donations will be, uh, will be handed by me in person and will be spent on uh, good people of Ukraine and soldiers. All right, so this is, uh, the, uh, this is the warehouse where we store all our, uh, all our food right here on the top floor. And uh, this is where deliveries come with new supplies. This is where we store them. To, uh, to take to different warehouses around the kitchen later on. I'll show you really fast what's going on here. So this, you shoot from this side. This is the, the refrigeration unit where we store the peeled vegetables. So all, everything in these fridges are peeled and all of this stuff is non-peeled, right? So I got tons of potatoes here right now, about seven metric tons of potatoes that we're using in just one of our warehouses. And all these are mushrooms. So you got a bunch of rice cookers cooking rice and there's a potato peeler in the back. And during the prime hours, we're peeling tons of potatoes, we're peeling tons of mushrooms, we're cooking down the mushrooms to freeze them and then use them in soups and uh, different kinds of sauces and so on. So follow me really fast, we're gonna go down we're gonna go down. This is Alexander, one of our engineers. Alexander, don't be afraid of the camera. Right. Alexander is our engineer, and he's helping us move the equipment around. Going down to the bomb shelter right now, in the bomb shelter where we do most of our cooking. That way, all of our cooks are safe from bombing, from Russian missiles, and everything else they got for us. So this is, uh, this is one of the um, places we cook food. We're doing renovations here. We have a convection oven and an, another oven and um, a few burners over there. This is where we cook veggies. This is where we cook the, the meat. And um, over there we have our living quarters, right? We have some guys eating food here. Be, be polite guys, we're shooting videos for Koreans. This is where we sleep. Right, we got bunk bags over here supplied by Ukrainian military. We got more rooms over here. And in the end over there, we have, uh, we have about 30 people living here all the time, cooking 24 seven for Ukrainian troops and civilians. And there's a shower room over there. I'm gonna bring you to our central kitchen underground over here. <clears throat> So this is our central kitchen, which used to be a restaurant where we made uh, ramen, where we made noodles, where we made rice bowls for, for civilians in civilian time. And now <coughs> we have these, uh, we have these uh, flat tops where we make sauces and uh, prepare onions and stuff, which are being repaired at the moment. All repairs cost extra money. You know, we need to buy parts. We need to buy better equipment. We have more refrigeration units over here. And uh, tomorrow's menu is already at work. So tomorrow for breakfast, we, we're gonna have um, um, sausages, we're gonna have uh, eggs and potatoes, and we're gonna have some, uh, some cabbage and apples. Uh, for lunch, we're gonna have uh, um, split pea soup. We're gonna have, uh, um, what's, uh, how do I translate this? We're gonna have like a, stewed pork and we're gonna have a salad with uh, with mixed cabbage leaves and um, for dinner for right now uh, we only have a chicken tagine we, we haven't really chosen what we're gonna cook as a side for that dish now on this side we have a table for how many how many meals we serve per day so 
for for this set this is uh, just one location that we feed 600 people 600 people 600 people and another 600 people for dinner because this is just one location that we're keeping for one of the biggest military locations that we cook for and then other locations are smaller but altogether we're cooking right now for over 3,000 people every day we make 3,000 meals every day on our website dumbledore army dumbledore-army at dot blog you can follow us and we have english uh, we write articles in english and we show the results up to date how many meals we have served so far so this is another prep kitchen right here this is one, our dish pit uh, where we wash and clean dishes right now we have tons of soup to cool, cool down and refrigerate there's going to be vacuum packed after that and send off to a military base later and over here we got more mushrooms you've seen that mushroom upstairs that were they're getting chopped and they bring downstairs there and they're going to be cooked down later all right over here we have another dish pit uh this are for clean dishes that we we'll use here on the, on the facility for employees to eat from and another another um, warehouse where with um, all the items that we use for uh, uh, inside the facilities and for the deliveries so like delivering packages and so on all right so this is about the end uh, of our tour um, before about 40 days ago we were peaceful civilians making ramen for the city of kiev right now we've uh, turned into uh, this group of people that feeds mostly the military and some civilians so if there's a civilian distress like you've heard a few days ago in bucha uh, we're we're sending food over there uh, we are also taking a road trip in about two weeks closer to the south of ukraine to the front lines we're going to take that food truck and take it all the way down to where the southern front with the Russians is. And we're going to try and establish supply chains over there as our forces uh, go forward and try and take back the city of Mariupol, which I assure you will happen. So if you want to support our work, we're growing right now. We have been uh, eight people in the beginning of the war. Now there is over 100 people working with us, volunteering with us and making uh, all the people around us fed so please support us if you're going to be so kind i greatly appreciate the help of uh, all korean citizens and especially the korean chefs thank you so much and i'll talk to you later